Hello guys, this is SparkleMC here in another video of Redstone Tutorials and today we are going to see different types of input blocks or items of water. So the first one is a lever which must be very familiar with all of you. It just has an on and off. The next one are pressure plates. And there are four different types. One is the wooden pressure plate, which can even be activated when items are dropped on it. The next one is a stone pressure plate, which activates only when players or mobs are on it. And the next one is a weighted pressure plate, which gives only a small amount of en uh, electricity. As you can see, this block is on but but it has a power of just one the next one is a daylight sensor and a night sensor and a daylight sensor can be triggered uh, into a night sensor by just uh, clicking it once the next one is a comparator which I will be explaining in detail later one of its function is that it detects if there's anything inside the block and gets inside a uh, storage space and it detects it. So for example, if I were to just keep multiplying this, there, that's done. It would give out a full power. The next one is a button with turns on and off when it's clicked and the next one is a trip wire which is like it, it's very minute and it's very hard to see but when you step over it it gets activated and this can be used very well for traps and then the next one is a, a, a trapped chest when you open it it gives out a power which is like a very low type of power and this power can also be increased by using a redstone repeater which I'll be going on in more detail in the next video as you can see the redstone lamp has been lit up uh, okay and then the next one, the next few points that I want to discuss is that levers and buttons can be placed on walls. And unlike the redstone torches, redstone blocks and redstone wires, here the current can pass through the wall. And pressure plates, well, they cannot be placed on walls, not yet, anyway. And then if you have a torch as I showed in my first video you can go check it out when you receive another current this torch might get deactivated similarly you can use a lever a button or a pleasure pressure plate to deactivate the torch and then one more common use of pressure plates can be used as doors and also you can use them to trap people inside them especially if you use an iron door and then the next is about the daylight and nightlight sensor so there's a daylight sensor as you can see it's day and the sun is well oh, right over there so this one gets on but if I were to change it to night so slash time set night here you, you can see that both of them are on because it's like it's sunset so both of them are on so if I say it, time or not set add thousand sorry it would go deeper into the night and this would deactivate itself uh, oh not this again uh, yeah better 
so the daylight sensor just deactivates itself but the night sensor as you can see it's night and this one is day this turns on and remember in the first video I showed you a clock that I made from torches and wires this can be activated or deactivated by using a switch or a a, a lever or a button or anything oh no what is this ah yeah this is better so as you can see this piston is creating havoc and also causing lot of lag but if I turn it on then it's just it's just turning everything on and it's making all these torches to become off so that's one way we can use levers so that's it for this time guys please like and subscribe thank you